Hello guys, looking at my Laravel daily website, a lot of people think it's about premium courses and free tutorials, but there's kind of a middle ground. There are also premium tutorials. So if some topic doesn't contain enough information to have a course about it, we just form that as a premium tutorial, which is usually very long, like thousand or more words up to 5,000. And in today's video, I want to summarize one of the recent premium tutorials that we published for you. In fact, it was an interesting one because it's 3000 words with e-commerce shop packages comparison, but it took like a few weeks to try it out, discuss pros and cons, discuss what to publish and how to form it than writing. So it's quite a long work of a few people. In this case, it was me and Modestas, my teammate, to publish a premium tutorial. So I hope you appreciate that. And the topic is which e-commerce CMS or package of Laravel is the best? Because I keep getting this question, what should I use for e-commerce? So for example, I want to create an e-shop in Laravel and which is the best package for that? So outside of Laravel, there's Magento, PrestaShop, WooCommerce, and of course Shopify. But in Laravel, there are four, we identified four packages, which are pretty popular for that case. So Amias, then Bagisto, then Lunar PHP and Vanilla. And we've tried to install all of them and see what is the developer experience, how easy it is to customize. For example, design theme is probably number one customization because every shop should be kind of visually unique. And out of those four systems, there's one pretty clear winner. Let's see which one. Let's start with Bagisto. So installation process gives us this homepage. Admin experience is pretty good. You can choose a lot of stuff. And this is where we get to the developer experience. And we see that actually Bagisto is a set of packages in itself. And then you can work on any package individually and customize it. The views are also divided into, for example, customer account, home, products, and stuff like that. Also pretty convenient. This is how it looks in the controller. It uses repository patterns but it's pretty readable in terms of Laravel code. You would understand what to do. For example, store is a typical method name for Laravel controller. They use form requests. They use repository pattern. They use trans function from Laravel. So relatively easy to customize. The second platform we tested was Lunar PHP and it's a headless system, which means it doesn't have the front end. It's just kind of like API for the back end where you would need to build the interface. And important at the time of writing that article, maybe something have changed, but at least a month ago, it was pre-version 1.0, which means maybe unstable. The installation has interactive installer, you can see on the screen, and this is the homepage. The system is actually built on Livewire or using Livewire, I should say. And you can see that in the code, Livewire components for pretty much everything. And this is also a blade file with wire key, which is live wire. The only problem with the system compared to Bagisto is the ecosystem and community. It's in the stage before release, which means people don't create extensions or themes. And from my experience, the CMS market or frameworks market, the winners are often decided based on the community contributions, like Laravel, for example. Laravel, for many years already, it's not the project of Taylor Otwell. It's a project of Laravel community with many packages, tutorials, and stuff around. So Lunar PHP as a system looks promising, but pretty early if you want to have ready built extensions or themes for it. And even their official starter kit, which I remind you, it's a headless CMS, which means their UI is just an example. And that example is not production ready and they say it themselves. It's a demo store. So in reality, you would have to build your front end yourself. The third platform we reviewed is Amias, and this is a very old one. I remember they presented Amias at Laracon EU in Amsterdam, was it 2015 or 2016? So they're on the market for quite a while. And let's see what's inside. So the installation was easy with a wizard, and this is the homepage. And then experience using the system from the user experience is pretty good. Friendly admin panel looks okay but the challenges started arising with developer experience. A lot of things are configurable from config shop file. 
and here's where we need to read documentation a lot to understand what is what. So here are the routes, but there are no controllers, models, or anything else you can access or extend only by code. You need to build extensions for AMIUS. Same goes for themes, but extending the theme is not that easy as the code looks something like that. So AMIUS, from what I understand, I may be wrong here, but it was created as a PHP package or PHP system, and then Laravel was one of the applications for that. That's why you have a lot of non-Laravel, non-Blade syntax, like in this case, for example, because, well, historically, it was not built for Laravel specifically. And the pages look like this, the tree, and how my colleague Modesta summarized it from developer perspective, you are locked into extensions, which may be okay. I'm not saying AMIUS is bad, but it's just not as straightforward as other systems, if you are a Laravel developer. From ecosystem and community, it's not that many. Only 400 results on Stack Overflow, so it doesn't seem to be very popular, and this is quite surprising given how many years they are on the market. And then the fourth platform was Vanillo. And I remember reading about Vanillo a few years ago on some forums or Medium or whatever, and it felt promising. But at the time of writing, it feels like it never grew into a full system because it uses Laravel UI, which is still working, but not a standard thing. Then Laravel Mix instead of Vite. And then also documentation is missing here and there. So we never even got to a stable version with installed vanilla. So we make it an honorable mention on this list as a platform number four. But in reality, this article is about three systems. And the best one, given all that we've tested in this table, is Bugisto. We may be incorrect here and there, so let's discuss in the comments below your experience. But this is the impression we've got of spending a few days trying to install, look around, change the code, change the theme and stuff like that. And another kind of side project result from that was a separate tutorial of eShop theme with Bagisto. So we try to recreate the official Laravel eShop at the moment and to make it work on Bagisto. So I will link in the description below both articles if you want to check it out. The comparison article which I reviewed in this video and also separately how Bagisto theming work and how to customize the homepage to look like this. Any other thoughts on the CMS e-commerce market in Laravel? What do you use? Maybe something was missing from that list? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.